Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Blue Balloon and I'm Soumya. And today I'm here with a really different type of video than usual. Today I'm going to be doing recreating characters outfits from my closet. It's basically a tweaked up version of recreating characters outfits. Since I was absolutely broke and couldn't afford any of the actual outfits that the characters have worn from the shows, I decided to give it a twist and I absolutely rummaged through my closet. And I found out some fits that I think would suit certain characters really well. So today I'm going to be trying on those outfits and you guys are going to tell me in the comments whether you think that those fits would suit the characters or not. So it's time to see who those characters are going to be. Okay, so we have our first character, Phoebe Buffet from Friends. And I honestly think that she was the icon in Friends. Although Rachel was considered as the fashion icon because she really knew what to wear, I think Phoebe was the one who could just mix and match any outfit and just wear absolutely anything and still slay. I think when I think of Phoebe, I think of like a top and a skirt. I think it's always a little wild, like a little, you know, stand out from the crowd. Her shirt is basic. It's like a white, normal short kind of sheer but the real thing is the skirt because I really like what's happening you know here it's got like a element to it which is like Phoebe's whole thing time to dress up so when I think of Phoebe I think of like really 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 minimal makeup I'll just do a little bit of an eyeliner, like really mild and I'll just coat a normal clear gloss. I had gotten these bracelets from my friends during the Eras Tour movie. I think that it's really a Phoebe element, like I can imagine Phoebe wearing it. As of the hair, I think I'm just gonna like do something like this, I don't know. We're starting off with the eyeliner. Okay, so it's really minimal. I like just enough to make me look pretty. We are going to go for the lip gloss. Going to add on the bracelets. For Phoebe, I think I only am going for this ring because I don't know for some reason it screams Phoebe to me. Okay guys, I think I'm finally done. I went really simple with the hair. I think this is Phoebe, to be fair. you up said I need you now cause I'm losing patience by four you were knocking on my door I said love is a two-way road he don't care no more am I going crazy needed you just to help forget it all and it was easy you put the records on to replay dance till we couldn't see straight till the morning came along Next we have is Ruby Matthews from Sex Education, an amazing fashion icon. When I think of Ruby, I think of mini skirts. So I have this neonish mini skirt which I think is really ruby coated and I think I'm going to pair it up with a pink sleeveless kind of crop top finally for the hair. I have this pink bow, which for some reason again screams a lot of ruby to me. Let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to do the hair. I think I'm going to do it very similar to the Phoebe Buffet style. So here I am with the bow. So for ruby, I think I've come up with a pink gloss that gives a shine. For the eyeliner, I think I would go for a slight wave. So yeah. I'm very good at making eyeliner on camera, so let's see how that works. Both my wings are totally not the same size. Also for Ruby, I think I'm gonna just add on a little more blush. I 
apparently is my lipstick for blush. Because if like one thing can solve two problems, why do you need to waste your money? Now coming on to the accessories. I think the accessories are entangled with each other because I'm a lazy bitch who doesn't keep her things properly. Anyway, so I think this bracelet would look really nice on Ruby. I've got this butterfly which is like butterfly pendant. It's, it's kind of like pink in color, pink purple and I think that will also go. I've gone forward with three rings that I think really suit her. One is this evil eye ring. I actually think Ruby would wear that. Uh, then we have a simple ring and we have a butterfly ring. Finally to finish off the look, I'm gonna be wearing this heart. Okay, so next we have is Emily Cooper from Emily in Paris, an annoying bitch for sure, but her fashion sense is great. I guess so. Not really. Okay, so as you can see, I already have these earrings which I had put on during Ruby Matthews. And I'm going to be using the same ones for Emily Cooper. And I'm also going to be wearing the same skirt. I think they both have very similar aesthetics. And for the top, I'm either going to be wearing a black thing inside or a black thing, white thing or a black thing, whichever looks better. I'm going to be pairing it up or layering it up with a jacket. This gives me very Emily Cooper vibes. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so for Emily, I think I'm gonna be keeping my hair open. For the lipstick, I think I'm gonna go for a little red. I think Emily is a bit bold. I definitely have a hat which I'm gonna be wearing. And I've got sunglasses because I feel like Emily would definitely wear sunglasses. She always goes like super extra. So. I don't know if these earrings really go with the fit, but like what about Emily ever goes together, so it's fine. Hi, it's Emily Cooper. Next we have is my favorite character of all times, Maeve Wiley. I love her so much, she is my spirit animal, I aspire to be her when I grow up. For Maeve, I picked out a fit that is like, it's something that Maeve would have probably even worn in the show. There's gonna be a little bit of layering that's gonna happen. First of all, we have this basic top. Below, we are going to be having this amazing checkered we're going to be having this amazing checkered skirt and on top of that top we are going to be layering it up with this amazing jacket i think it's going to look really good for mave i'm going to do eyeliner normal more like a triangle if that makes sense 
part mayo has always been really 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 bold so i'm further more going to use this kajal i think it's going to give like a really super bold look also really hot look now we're going to go forward with the kajal i really like this style it just it's just it feels really sexy okay so i'm done with the eyes i love it now for the lips i am going to go for this lip gloss it's i mean it's not exactly brown it's like a color between brown and pink or red i kind of went for a little grunge or a emo kind of rings and we're going to be going for this pretty necklace Now we have Wednesday Adams from Wednesday. So for Wednesday I'm going to keep it really similar to Maeve. The eye makeup is going to be the same, the black nail paint is going to be the same. We're also going to keep the stockings. As of the outfit, I have a dress for Wednesday. So there's this really cool full sleeved short dress which i think would really 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 match wednesday's aesthetic <laughs> that is lu from elite another person i absolutely hate because of what she did to polo but anyway whenever i think of lu i think of somebody obviously from a very high class and really fancy and posh basically i think of a lot of glitter so i am going to incorporate a lot of glitter into lu's outfit and overall i have come up with this beautiful pink it's kind of a I don't know robe kind of dress and I think it fits Lou's character really well so let's see So here I am I think it looks really pretty So now for the makeup what I'm basically planning is as I said a lot of glitter I already have pink nail paint on I'm going to be adding this glitter or transparent coating on it so for eyeliner I'm going to make a slight wing and then I'm going to be adding a silver glitterish tint edge to it for the lip gloss i'm going to be mixing two things together so first of all we have this pink gloss and on that i'm going to coat it with this transparent gloss i don't know why i just like layering so really 
like this nail paint because honestly I'm a really big glitter fan. I love glitter. So we're done with the nail paint. Now I'm going to be adding the silver highlight to it. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so I am done. I added the silver liner above it and I also added these dots because it looks really good. For the hair, I'm kind of deviating between two things. Either I'll go for like a hair band and a bun or just a bun. So let's see. you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i wish i had found the bangs so that it could have complemented may and wednesday's look i hope you guys can use your imagination skills and imagine how that would have looked but please tell me in the com comments whether these fits suited the characters or not and which one of them suited the best and also mention any other characters that you would like me to try out and if you guys like this video then don't forget to give it a like leave a comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel